Thank you, Carol. And thank you all for coming. Now, animated, is that more like cartoon character? Or? <laughs> so. All right. I'm at the seventh this year. It's a little tough because um, you want to do something different. Everybody. So everybody's been up here talking about their team. I, I'll probably talk about something different. Um, we, uh, it is a political year, I guess. So uh, I'd like to thank Coach Reed on the women's side and Coach Bishop on our side for the filibuster that they went into earlier. Uh, what, what was the time? Like? I don't know. You guys are so good. I got practice here. So. Do you? What time is practice? I'll make, sure, I'll make sure I go over. <laughs> 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 All right. We, we have guys uh, speaking of, uh, of last year. One, one of the things uh, that's great about getting old is you can't remember yesterday, let alone last year. So, uh, Carol, I appreciate you reminding me how poor we did last year. So, uh, 8 and 10, and uh, we'll, we'll try to uh, do things a little differently this year and uh, hopefully show some improvement. But as I, I get up here to speak, there's with the, the deal on the internet now, and everybody can see this all over the country, it's unbelievable how many people email me and want me to interject things. So I gotta try to keep a lot of people happy, and especially uh, uh, the political people this year. So last night, I was, I was complaining on my face about, uh, <laughs> about I, I couldn't understand what, what happened on the preseason uh, uh, all-conference picks. Um, I didn't get the email where uh, it said don't vote for any Friends players. Um, I think that I knew that for, and, and my friend Barry, uh, he's uh, high up in the political world, uh, he my face me last night. And he said, I knew that 47% wouldn't vote for friends, but five to ten percent of the others, the independent thinkers, should have maybe thrown a friends player in there. But I really where we're at this year is, uh, you know, we we don't deserve a preseason all conference. Uh, we uh, we lost uh, our three leading scores, but I tell you what, where where we're at right now with uh, Thomas Bland, Colton Roush. Blake Wilson and Jacob Simmons. Uh, those four guys have got us on the right track practice-wise. It's, it's been a joy to go to practice, except for yesterday, which really you know, threw me off on my preparation for today's media day. So uh, I'm kind of rambling a little bit. But we, we're going to change some things. When, and these guys all voted in, in favor of this. But uh, we're going to go to a thing that's called the West Coast Offense issue. Okay. And it's a, a series of dribble drives followed by a series of turnovers. <laughs> then we're going to go to a series of short passes trying to move the ball up the court, and that's followed by a series of turnovers. Then last night, we really got creative, and we went to a series of long passes followed by turnovers. So uh, uh, we got that taken care of. And when you see that, I want you all to know, I tied that bow. That, that is all right. Um, now, as I said, we get a lot of people with input wanting me to come up here and interject things. And, and this next one comes from all my uh, colleagues up here as coaches. And, and we, uh, you know, I just happen to be the spokesman. I just, I cannot believe all the turmoil about the replacement officials this year. I thought our guys last year did a great job in that area, so uh, <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm really concerned by that because I saw the biggest upset since uh, Villanova over Georgetown earlier. I saw Coach Bishop hugging a referee out there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as far as moving in to the basketball season and, and I just feel more comfortable that, that maybe we're all going to get on the same page both on and off the court. And, and those four guys I mentioned earlier, we're going to mix in some freshmen and transfers. And, and every day I don't know who's, you know, 1 through 15 changes every day. So um, uh, I'm um, pretty excited about what's going to go on with them. And, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be a fun team to watch. Now, uh, uh, and hopefully, you guys will recognize that I'm going to stay in my coaching box this year. I've 
I've talked to uh, many of the people in the league as far as rules and so forth, and it's okay to put out police tape and orange cones and everything, so I should be able to stay where I need to. And uh, if you guys will help me with that, like I'm sure on the road and so forth, that'd be great. Uh, I'm in danger of uh, going overboard in that area. Um, all I can tell you is uh, we do have a, a different group and a mix of returners and newcomers, both freshmen and transfers. I have no idea where they're going to end up. The four people I mentioned, I think, are going to play a lot of minutes for us, and that'd be about all I'm sure of right now. Um, so in, in closing, uh, happy Hunger Games, and may the odds ever be in your favor. How's that? <laughs> all right, any questions? All right, thanks for all coming, and we will see you on the road. Dude.